Hello friends, this is Shannon with Black Sheep House. I'm a full-time furniture refinisher and when I'm not sharing my videos here on YouTube, I like to write ebooks, so definitely check some of those out. As I was outside struggling trying to get this thing in the back of my trailer, the people that were in the house came outside and started to help me load it and we started talking about the dresser and they told me the story of what happened with this dresser and these people were just at the house like cleaning up and um, the house had already been sold and, and stuff and the little girl who had owned this dresser had already moved to another state but I'll just tell you that she had gone through a really, really, really hard thing and I think so many times people use decorating as a way of processing grief. If you're anything like me, I turn to creative things to, to process, you know, really, really hard times in life. And I, I know so many of you guys must be the same because, you know, in some ways when you feel like you're able to physically change your environment and change something, um, then in a way you've, you, you know, you've processed that part of you that really wanted to change that person or maybe you wanted to change that situation and stuff. And, and it just got me right in the, in the gut, you know, and I was like, I offered to do the dresser for free for the little girl, but like I said, she's already moved and, um, they were just throwing it out. They were cleaning out the house and, you know, her life is different now. She's, she's well taken care of and everything, but you know, obviously she gone through a really hard time. So I really wanted to do this dresser justice and make sure that it turns into a beautiful masterpiece that some other little girl will love or whoever ends up with it. I just want to also open up in the comment section, you know, if you're someone who has used furniture refinishing to process grief, please say it in the comments and stuff. And, and maybe we can create a bit of a community here and some camaraderie for people who turn to creative things. And if you've never turned to something creative when you're grieving, then this hopefully this video maybe will inspire you to, to give that a try, give that a go, pick up that paintbrush, uh, drag that dusty old table of your grandmother's out and refinish it, you know, because it can be so therapeutic. I have found that it doesn't matter if you keep the item or use it yourself, just refinishing the item with that specific grief in mind and processing it and turning it into something beautiful and then giving it away or selling it, especially when you see the new people are so excited about it and, and they have all these great plans for it. That can be just like such a bucket filling, restoring your heart moment. I'm telling you, it's, it's really like nothing else. Anyway, I got the last sticker off, woohoo! And now I have to go in and re remove this residue that all the stickers left behind. The surface on this dresser is a laminate, like an Ikea type uh, material, or maybe it's melamine. Let me know in the comments if you know the difference between laminate and melamine. And I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I've heard it before. Uh, with cabinets and stuff. And then I'm going to go in with my secret weapon here. I've never shared this on the channel. I do gatekeep sometimes, so definitely make sure you check out my book <laughs> because I share literally everything that's in my brain, everything I've tried, everything that works in that book. This paint will adhere to any surface and I'm telling you it cures so quickly. I did a test on my kitchen table. I put like five different paints that were my favorites on my kitchen table and no priming, no prepping, barely any cleaning and you know how greasy tables can be. And this paint, the next day I was able to do a scratch test on it and it floored me. And I, ever since then, I have been so into this paint. The only problem is it doesn't come in a ton of colors and it's pretty pricey when you add up how much, uh, it is for like a gallon. And for someone like me running a business, I'm painting so many pieces of furniture a week. Well, we, I say I, my husband is the, he's a big sprayer for our team and, and he does a lot of the painting for the local stuff. But anyway, it, this paint, so we can't really afford to use this paint. Like for all of our furniture but if you're doing small projects this stuff is so good so you're welcome for that nobody i don't think anybody else is sharing that information if they do know about this paint they are definitely gatekeeping it <laughs> you might have to order it online but it's just so dang good i've tried to get all my furniture refinishing friends to use it but i think because of the limited color selection uh you know it just makes a lot of us you know not do it but it's just so good so it's deco art satin enamel uh, you can find it, I think, at most craft stores, but like I said, you can buy it online as well, and they'll ship it to you if you order a certain amount for, 
you know, they'll give you free shipping. So this is not sponsored, but Deco Art, if you are listening, I would love to be sponsored by you. <laughs> you are literally my favorite furniture paint of all time. The finish that I'm going for for this dresser, because it's so modern and sleek and minimalist, like even the handles are hidden underneath so you don't need um, any hardware. It's just very sleek. So I'm going for a modern finish and it requires a lot of brushing. So I'm using Floetrol to keep the paint from drying up on me too quickly and so that I have time to get that brushing in there. I'm using my deck staining brush. It's a big fluffy brush. I think it's about five inches and I removed the handle. I just like untwisted the wooden handle so that I can hold this a little bit more uh, in the palm of my hand and you just want to get the product on there. You want to work in sections. So a section for me is the drawer front and then just I'm I'm just applying just enough like I, it's almost like I'm painting a thin coat on but the modern technique is just blending it and and it's kind of like the brushing stuff that you guys have seen me do but it looks more modern because I'm leaving it blurred and blended and soft I will say this is really hard to do if you have dogs uh, and dog hair or debris and stuff around in your workspace. I was really struggling with a lot of dog hair landing. And if anything like that lands in this finish, it it makes it look all weird. And you end up with like a little spot you have to go through and refix it. So this took me a lot longer than it will take somebody who has a nice clean environment. I, I love dogs. And especially you know dogs that shed a lot like <laughs> my um, bird dog and I got a golden retriever and oh my goodness it's just there's so much hair I did my best and this dresser is not perfect but it, it looks pretty darn good by the time you get to the end if you mess up or get some paint on an area that you weren't ready to do the effect on, you can just wipe it away with a damp microfiber cloth like I did. And I even had to do that on a dresser drawer front that I just ended up redoing the whole dresser drawer front because <laughs> I was talking about the dogs earlier. The dog came out and his tail swooshed up against it and while well, it was still drying and just, you know, I had to redo that whole drawer. So one of the drawers see if you can spot which one I had to redo. It is better to do all of them at the same time, like all the drawers, while you're looking at them so that you can get the same amount of product on and not end up with like one that looks darker than the other. The other thing is I started going up and down on the sides. This is a personal preference. Sometimes I do sideways, sometimes I do up and down and you know, it's just a personal preference. Usually the stuff from the store is up and down but sometimes it just looks better to go sideways I don't know it's just personal preference okay guys let's take a look at the before covered in stickers and I did save some of the stickers I just couldn't help myself I put a couple on my cup just to kind of remember the people who are grieving and uh, anyway there's the before here's our after it's so good I really really love this finish it's the first time I've done this particular color combo and I love it so much I did seal this with a water-based polyurethane this paint doesn't really require a top coat though thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye